All right, so I just got done playing about two hours of Homefront The Revolution on Xbox One, and uh, I figured by now I can now give a good opinion on the game and my experience and my feelings regarding it. All right. So in 2011, uh, a game called Homefront was released. I believe it was 2011. It might have been 2010. I'm not exactly sure. But a game called Homefront was released roughly five years ago, and... Uh, it was an interesting game. You know, it really was. It wasn't anything special. It didn't, you know, garner much attention, and I think a lot of people skipped it. Uh, but it had an interesting concept. Basically, North Korea um, allied itself with South Korea, and then they allied themselves again with, like, China, and basically they became, like, a big empire um, between China and North Korea. They, like, joined forces. And they became this big, huge empire, and then uh, basically what they did is they started controlling more of the world, and they basically took over the United States of America. And where um, Homefront uh, took place, or where it started really, was during the midst of this revolution. And uh, you were basically sitting here, and you were being oppressed by the Korean government, and you guys broke free. You st it basically was like an action-packed campaign. Um, kind of similar to like the movie Red Dawn or anything like that where you know people had to like take back their home their homeland and things like that and it was a really interesting game you know that it was a it was a fun playthrough the campaign was only about I believe six hours long if that it was a really short campaign from what I remember but it was pretty fun and you had some really nice competitive multiplayer in there that was also a lot of fun to play through at the time and so it was a decent decent overall game It was one of those games that you played and you were like wow th this would have been really they, they could really improve on this with a sequel and so fast forward to five years and now we have Homefront the Revolution this is a reboot of the franchise all right this is not a sequel uh, this is not a prequel this is a complete reboot of the franchise none of the events of the original Homefront are canon to anything that's going on in this game uh, so What's basically going on here is what you guys are watching right now is the co the cooperative mode, all right? The, the, the only thing that's available in the beta is the cooperative mode, so we don't have any access to the single-player campaign. Um, but you're going to notice a few things. Like, keep in mind, this is a very early build, what we're watching right here. This is, if anything, this is what a beta actually is right now. This is an extremely early build. This is um, an earlier build of the beta then what you what you guys are going to have a chance to play in the middle of February when it goes live for you know most of the people this was an exclusive sort of um special selected invite only closed beta stress test that was going on just today on Friday and I was lucky enough to be selected to join it and uh you know they had no problems with uh, with people uploading videos which is really nice so good on them and they really just wanted to get our opinions on the game and uh, and things like that. So this is going to be my my full judgment, my full opinion on the game. All right. I'm going to start with the positive things first and then we're going to move on to the negatives. All right. The best thing about this game is the level design. I think that level designers did an incredible job. There are so many different ways and paths and just a variety of different um options that you have at your disposal to get to where you want to go and that's just the awesome part about this game it truly feels like a dense open world because i mean it's like it's like okay you're you're it takes place in philadelphia keep that in mind and everything just feels very natural it feels very realistic there's alleyways there's you know streets and 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 uh different you know pathways and things like that now this is a you know very I guess I guess you can call it a post-apocalyptic game, right? Um, humanity is very, you know, in terms of in terms of I should say the United States citizens are very suppressed here, and everything's very destroyed from the war, and everyone's mistreated and everything like that. And so what's so you'll see like there's a lot of destroyed buildings, a lot of graffiti, everything looks very much destroyed and just uh, you know v very much uh, defaced. And uh, it's pretty cool, you know, there's like different varieties and, and just, just to keep you guys in mind in terms of like the level design here, you can sneak through an entire group of enemies, you know, by, by going into somebody's house and you're sneaking through the house and things like that and then you end up on the other side of the building complex 
and uh, you did you just snuck through you know basically a whole group of enemies. It is guerrilla warfare. Keep that in mind. So that means that this this game is not meant to be a, like a run and gun FPS like Battlefield or Call of Duty where you just run into a group of enemies and oh you'll be fine as long as you you know shoot everyone things like that. Uh, you will die quickly in this game. If you stand out in the open, you will get killed within two to three seconds. Um, there is no mercy whatsoever. And so enemies and enemies will come at you in waves and waves and waves. And sometimes your objective is to not fight. Sometimes your objective is to run away and yet to run away and things like that. Um, and I really like that aspect about the game. The guerrilla warfare was pretty cool. Um, it's different. It's it kind of it kind of forces you to think strategically uh keep in mind that those who are looking for a more action-packed experience are probably not going to find it here this experience is more of a play at your own style it's kind of a stealth action game in that in that sense um what you guys are seeing here is just us playing shootout you know this is the cooperative mode but i think for the campaign and in the single player they're definitely going to have a lot of stealth element focused um or stealth stealth focused elements excuse me uh, that that are going to be implemented here. There's like silent takedowns. You're going to have silencers you can attach to your weapons, and I'm sure that the single player portion is really going to lend itself to a great stealth playthrough, which is just something I'm looking forward to. So level design is fantastic. In addition to that, custom customization is also extremely heavy here. They added a lot of customization. We're talking like tons and tons and tons. There's like 30 hats, different 30 different hats you can unlock. There's like 40 different pairs of shirts and like again like 40 different pairs of shoes. There's so many customization options in the menu and uh, there's just a lot for you to unlock and a lot for you to customize your character with. You can be a female a female or a male depending on what you want and you can create your own character from scratch. Um, unfortunately for us, you know, since, since this is a beta, they just allowed us to basically, oh, just hurry up and just create a character, basically. But I guess in the full game, they're going to allow you to create something from scratch, change different head styles and hair and whatnot. And so customization is really heavy. I am unsure whether that customization actually carries over to the single player campaign. I don't know if we're going to be able to, oh, if it's going to be a campaign where, oh, you customize your character and then basically, you know, your character is going through this experience of the campaign, or are we going to have like a full single player you know actual voice acted protagonist here that's going to lead the revolution to victory uh that is unsure yet there is no competitive multiplayer keep that in mind guys for the full experience uh there's just a single player campaign and a cooperative multiplayer uh aspect so there's no competitive multiplayer whatsoever which i'm kind of sad about again because i did like the competitive multiplayer in the original home front so the biggest things for me that stand out right now are the uh, yeah the level design and I also have to say the customization. You can attach different barrels to like your assault rifle and really change up the way it looks and different things like that. So I really like that aspect. Those are the best things about this game. Now we have to get on to the bad things. And there are quite a few really bad things about this game that I think that they, they need to absolutely hurry up and iron out these issues if they have any hope of the game becoming successful, all right? The frame rate in this game, for one, is terrible. It is absolutely terrible. It targets 30 frames per second, but it rarely hits it at all. It's about 25 frames per second average. It feels extremely sluggish, extremely slow, and because the frame rate is so poor, this affects your, um, your gunplay. The gunplay feels extremely stiff. It doesn't feel very intuitive. It doesn't feel smooth at all. It feels extremely stiff. We're talking like the type, the type of stiff where you move your controller and your character moves like, it, it feels like they move slowly. It doesn't feel like the controls are that responsive. It feels really, 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 really bad. I mean, it, it, the, the shooting mechanics in particular are just awful because of the frame rate and just because of the stiff nature. I think if they can take a look at uh, if games, um, just take a look at like Fallout 4, what Fallout 4 did recently, you know, with its shooting mechanics, or just I mean, even Call of Duty, you know, for that example. Or if you want to go with something more realistic, then fine, but you have to make it feel smooth. And there is no sense of smoothness. There is no sense of, you know, um, uh, I, I, I guess you can say in intuitiveness. <laughs> I, I mean, it's just, it feels very slow and it feels very laggy and it feels, it doesn't feel that, that 
satisfying whatsoever. And this has a major effect on your gunplay in the game, so much so that pretty much you are going to want to do stealth to really enjoy your experience in the beta. If you do if you do just straight up shooting like an FPS style, I don't believe the shooting mechanics are that good to to really warrant that. The best thing I can actually um say about the shooting mechanics are they feel like Deus Ex Human Revolution. Maybe a little bit better, but they feel slug like slow and sluggish like that. Like that game, one of my favorite games of the last generation was Deus Ex Human Revolution. But I love stealth and I'm a big stealth player. But when you try to play that game as an FPS, it fails miserably. So it really feels like that. This game, like it really feels like very sluggish and slow like that for its shooting mechanics, and it really has a major impact on your enjoyment in the game, and it's unfortunate. So I really think they need to go back to the drawing board or just make some somehow, you know, make the shooting mechanics more smoother to play. It, it, it feels like crap. It honestly feels like crap. Actually, fuck that. It feels like shit. That's honestly how the shooting mechanics feel right now. It is unenjoyable to play this game as an FPS straight up shooting mechanics because it's hard to hit people slow with the low frame rate along with the very sluggish controls, all right? So you have to make a way to, you have to find a way to have this be smooth, have this be really satisfying, enjoying, add some more recoil to the guns. Look at Wolfenstein. I think Wolfenstein, the new order, had the best shooting mechanics of like the past few years, even decade. Like that game's shooting mechanics were some of the best I've ever experienced in an FPS. Look at games like that, and you can put a realistic spin on it. You can have a realistic spin on how the guns feel, and and you know, look, I mean, there there's a way you can do that, you know. But you really you really have to get get away from the sluggish controls because it it, it just sucks. It really does suck. Now I want to talk about the graphics. Now you guys are watching this on the compressed YouTube video, whatever, but. The game runs probably at 720p resolution. I'm going to go ahead and just throw it out there. It's like a 720p game. I don't think it looks as sharp as 900p, but there's jaggies everywhere. There's artifacts everywhere. Uh, aliasing is just, again, everywhere. The game has a very low resolution. Keep in mind, this is an early beta, and I fully expect that they're going to want to upgrade the resolution. But also keep in mind that this is the Cry Engine, and that's a really resource intensive engine in the game. Uh, in addition, I see no evidence of ambient occlusion anywhere. And if it is anywhere, then it's probably very, very, very low quality ambient occlusion. Um, it really doesn't, it really makes scenes look bland and very, very awful, quite frankly. Uh, the actual textures are decent, but there are big loading and streaming issues with the textures. Again, it's a beta, but I'm just going to give you guys my thoughts on what I experienced, all right? So very low streaming textures and things like that that they really need to improve and things like that. And uh, basically, yeah. Uh, the biggest thing for me, the biggest issue right now was just the shooting mechanics. And I believe that this game cannot be truly enjoyable until they fix the shooting mechanics. Like, it's really that bad. And I'm not just saying that because I was expecting something more. I didn't know what to expect with this game. I kind of went into this game with zero expectations. Uh, I was, I guess you can say I was kind of looking forward to it, but I wasn't like super excited for it. Um, now that I've played it, I can say that if if this game were to just really if they were just to release a very a really polished version of this game at, in its current state i'm talking like if they weren't to improve if they were not going to improve the shooting mechanics but the frame rate was going to be solid and they were just going to keep the game like this i think this game is going to be just decent at best for most people i think a lot of people actually are not going to like it i i was streaming this on twitch and a lot of people said i played this for half an hour and i i couldn't play it anymore i got so bored um i just didn't like the game at all and you really do need to look at this game and you really do need to go like you, you really need to go back and change like, some core gameplay dynamics here um through i know this game had a lot of development hell let's let's keep that in mind that this game went through quite a ton of hiccups uh in its development this game was originally being developed by crytek and then Crytek had financial issues, and so what happened was that Crytek basically sold off that studio that was working on Homefront 
um, to Deep Silver, and Deep Silver bought the studio, and they are now being worked. The game is now being published by Deep Silver. The studio is called Damn Buster Studios. It's the same team, the same group of team who, of the guys who worked at Crytek and were making the game before. But they just went back to the drawing board and everything on it. And so this game, we've been waiting for this game for about three years, I want to say. It was announced uh, quite a while ago, and uh, we haven't really heard much about the game. Um, it's coming out in May, all right? So that's about four months, and it's coming out the week before Mirror's Edge. So with four months, I, th I, th I think if they work extremely hard in four months, they can probably iron out most of the issues here. Um... I don't know if the game's I don't know if the game's gonna get delayed again. Uh, honestly, it may, but I I do want to reserve like full judgment until I actually play like the main beta that's happening in February, and I don't know if they're gonna have any future betas or anything like that. But yeah, so just to reiterate what I said, um, the best thing about this game is its level its level design is just amazing. I'm really looking forward to playing the campaign now and seeing all the different pathways and things like that. Hopefully the story is much more powerful and engrossing and emotional than the first game was. And uh, I also love the customization options. There's tons of ways to express yourself. The shooting, the, the, the customization with the guns is really good, really good. And you can really change the way that they look and feel, which is awesome. Uh, what I don't like, shooting mechanics feel like shit, sluggish, slow, the frame rate is 25 frames per second, average, pretty much. The graphics are very low quality, except the shadows, if you actually take a look at the shadows, the shadows are actually extremely high quality, <laughs> which is kind of funny, it's like you get really high quality shadows, which I think are causing the frame rate to blur, but even so, like, turn the shadows down to like medium settings or so, increase the textures, Add some more post-processing effects, and I think you got a really good-looking game here. And of course, increase the resolution because the 720. This game has jaggies everywhere, or just aliasing everywhere. So I really, this is a, this is definitely a PC game for me. There's, I feel awful for those of you guys who you know don't have a PC that, and are going to be playing this game because if the frame rate turns out to not even be improved, or if this is any indication of what the frame rate is going to be like when you know the game launches it's going to be incredibly unenjoyable and really really just just it's going to suck this is a 60 frames per second game it needs 60 frames per second it, 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 there's there's no question about that it needs it all right when you play it you will sit there and be like yeah this is a 60 frames per second game it's the same thing i said with with syndicate back in 2012 on ps3 and xbox 360 that's a 60 frames per second game that they put up but they put at 30 frames per second on you know the last gen consoles and the, the shooting felt slow and sluggish, and it didn't feel that great at all. But even Syndicate had better shooting mechanics than this game. Look at, look, actually, yeah, Dan Buster Studios, look at Syndicate back in 2012. Look at that game. Look at that game's shooting mechanics, and you can make something like that for this game. It actually worked out well for that game, and I did actually enjoy playing that game um, quite frequently. So, yeah. All right, guys, th those are my impressions on uh, Homefront The Revolution. I'll keep you guys informed with more coming up. Uh, I'm not going to be streaming the game again. I'm not going to be playing it further. I, I, I played two hours, and I just... I, there's there's too many issues, really, at the moment for me to sit here and say, okay, I'm really enjoying the experience. I really enjoy it for that matter. So I'll leave you guys with the rest of the gameplay footage. Uh, let me know what you guys thought of the footage, and if you played the beta, let me know. Um, if you don't know how to get into the beta, basically all you have to do is go over to the Homefront, the Revolution game website, all you have to do is sign up on their website and you'll be automatically entered to be in the beta that happens in February. All right. Have a good one, guys. Thank you all for watching and I'll talk with you all later. One of guys. Just picked up a bunch of shit.
cool. That was cool. Oh shit. But he's dying. Oh, I can only have four of those max. That dude just spawned and died again. Alright, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's run. Dispatch. What about the fridge burners? Alright, I think I made it. Get down here. Get out of there, you don't have much time. Oh shit. Oh, we have to run this way. Okay, I didn't see that. Yeah, we're done. There we go. There we go. Oh, that took forever. Shit.